Your new home. It looks picture perfect to the untrained eye until disaster strikes. <laughs> Eighties hit comedy The Money Pit poked fun at what can go wrong if you don't check before you buy. The basic rule still is and always has been buyer beware. Convincing solicitor Tim O'Dwyer says building and pest reports are no laughing matter and if you don't get one it could really cost you. As Tom Hanks' character found out the hard way, you'll be up for all the repairs yourself. First home buyers and, and young couples are out there bright-eyed, furry-tailed and, and looking at properties with rose-coloured glasses. They're novices. They're so trusting. But what many home buyers don't also realise, they're up for the cost of the report itself at around $400 each. I do feel ripped off. I've spent close to $2,000 and I don't have a house. New home buyer Jared Alexander's been on the hunt for a new home for months and came very close to owning his very own money pit. He's spent hundreds on building and pest reports on homes riddled with problems. One in particular had termites, rotten floors, dodgy decking, water leaks and cracks. All things Jared had no idea existed. We were estimated at looking between 30 and 40,000 to fix the, the number of severe defects in that particular property. Jared was able to pull out of that contract, but says life would be a lot easier and cheaper if the seller of a home was forced to have a building and pest inspection done before it went up for sale. When you sell a car, you have to ensure that that car is in functional order. I believe it's the same with a house. It's already happening in Canberra, thanks to Tim, who advocated changes six years ago. Every house for sale now comes with an inspection report. He wants that happening here. If there are surprises, you can fix them up before you put your place on the market. For the sake of an average cost of $400, potentially the inspector can be saving the, the home purchaser thousands of dollars. Building and pest inspector Ben Nyers says never buy a home without giving it a once-over. Obviously the bearer here has failed uh, due to exposure to, uh, to damp rot, uh, some termite damage to some of the timbers here. So rectif rectification works here are uh, extremely important, particularly to uh, protect little kitties that might come out through the back door here. Mm. Whose responsibility is it though to have it repaired? Look, it's, it's not really the responsibility of the vendor. They're not obligated to do anything. What the report does do is allow you to cancel a contract or negotiate on the price. Ben says there's some important things to look out for. Surface water drainage is extremely important. What you don't want is water ponding up against the brick base of a home. Gardens should be kept well away from the home. And because they are watered, they harbour um, moisture and also humidity, which is a perfect environment for termite activity. And cracks in the walls, foundation or floors. So at this point, a structural engineer should further inspect this to advise whether any further uh, structural repairs are required. Now, before you enlist the help of the professionals, there are things that you can do to get the ball rolling. Like, for example, keeping an eye out for wet stains on the walls. That's evidence of an internal leak somewhere and it's something to keep an eye on. And as long as you have all the information available, you can make an informed decision before you sign on the dotted line.